always close. I'm not sure how much uh, I got of that footage then. So we're back on the mighty Trent today, and we're at Hoveringham. We're just come for an afternoon session. We're in the day ticket stretch for Midland AC. It's, it's a lovely stretch of water. I've done a previous film a bit further upstream. Um, it's blowing a bit, it's a bit busty today, downstream breeze. It's, it's a westerly, but it's, it's cooling down the Trent. Um, but it's, it's towards the end of August and it's a lovely warm day, 24, 25 degrees. Temperature wise it's lovely. But when I fished here, when I fished and filmed here last, last year, I had a nice set of roach and dace. Uh, I was going to fish stick float again but it's so windy today. I've gone for a waggler. I'm literally facing everything downstream. I've already had one roach uh, but we're feeding emp castor, tears and I've bought some maggots as hook bait which yeah which will only feed if I really have to. But I'm hoping to catch a nice roach on tear get some of them bigger fish. We'll have a look at the rig in a bit. I'm just flicking it out. Handful of bait. Hopefully. Find some of them chunky roach. So, so it's towards the end of August, and we've had a brilliant summer. I mean, drought conditions, but the fish have been going absolutely crackers. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful. We'll have a look at the rig in a bit. It's a st standard wagner rig. Breeze is really getting up now. Another good one. Oh, that absolute clunker, look at that one. Look brand new. Yeah, sometimes with a heavy breeze, it helps hide you, the rig, the float, everything.
Oh, nice bite, that one. I'm fishing a rig that's probably five, six foot deep, and I'm fishing it very gently on the drop. What's strung out? Shot. Little bit of toe on the line, so you'll miss a few bites that aren't just false indications, really. It's a lovely place to fish at Overingham. It's full of fish, carp, barbel, chub. Loads of silverfish. They have lots of matches here, Midland do. And uh, they rent it out for clubs to fish as well. It's very popular for pleasure anglers. Maybe five pound day ticket. Nice fish these are. Oh, look, this is a roach. Beauty. It is as well. That's my third really good roach. Beautiful. Sometimes with the afternoon sessions, the fish come straight to it. What's that? Six or seven roach already. Dace on tear. The three goes at it, that one. Quality roach again, look at these. Miss that one. Bring these to hand. Oh, I'm risking it with these these fish. <sighs> Definitely appear to have a shoal in front of me to start with. These the crystal wagglers. Brilliant. They're like darts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that almost hooked itself on. Oh, it's come off. That one took it on the drop.
You like these tears? Lost my tear. It's got a soft tear, that one. Yeah, it's been a brilliant summer for fishing. Because the temperature's been like 23 to 37, the fishing have been absolutely crazy. Feeding constantly. If you've got a garden pond, the fishing have been going mad in it. You can't fill them up. We've got our own air display at Chinook. And it spooked the, spooked the geese. <laughs> the American president normally gives him one of them when he visits. See the Chinook over my left shoulder? He's in some sort of... Uh, Practicing for a show, I think. Probably can't quite see him. Right on the horizon, tops of the trees. Back again. I think he's doing a vertical. Now he's nose diving. Oh, look at that. that initial burst of roach after roach after roach to start with and then um, I've not had another roach for the last half an hour so it's been about an hour so far I've got probably 25 fish I've been getting a decent bleak on maggot and I've had a couple of perch as well quite often yeah, as soon as the perch come in the swim that's there the roach move away but um, they were going crackers to start with brilliant Really clunky in roach. What I might do is put a bit more depth on and go a bit further out. Let's we'll see if the fish have just gone a bit weary. Going back on a tear now. And see if there's anything. Just a little bit further out. A lovely swan in this one. Nice pouch full of bait. days. Let's try a single caster. Yeah, Horringham's a lovely place to fish on the Trent. I've had a six pound mirror carp down here years and years ago on bread flake fishing in the evening. And um, I think I might have mentioned it before Barry Knighton fished down here at an 18 pounder. 
think it was on cheese. Yeah, some uh, big bags of bream here at night as well. You put loads of corny down the edge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at night time, just put a couple of tins of corn in, about to rod lengths out. And then the fish swim along the bank at night and hoover everything up that people have chucked in in the day. The big fish that don't, uh, don't like to feed much near the bank. The big old wise fish, you know. And I've had some really big bags of bream at night. It's a bit of carp. I seem to def definitely seem to like the single caster at the moment. It's a roach. It's a better quality dace. Little roach, first roach I've had for a while. So it's that size I was expecting to get at the start. Not start clunking out them three, four, five ant fish straight away. On tear. So you fire this float out like a dart and you just check it back just before it hits the surface and it lands with all the shot. It looks like it's a bait just landed. Like a pile of bait from the catapult. So the setup today, we've got a Dower 125M, close face reel. I've got a Drennan 13 foot float rod, the Drennan Red Range, which is a lovely soft action. So it's a 16 barbless hook on two pound eight trace, up to a swivel. And then I've got a strung out shot, so number eight along the line. I've got four or five on that. And then the float is, let's have a better look at that. Firelight like darts, the Drennan Crystal Wagglers. That's a number three. Beauty it is. A couple of float stops and a string of number eights underneath. So I've got about ten number eights on there. But perfect for this setup. Main line's four pound line. Fires out like a dart, just check it before it hits the surface. You could see there, they're coming up for the casters, but they're mainly bleak and dace at the moment. Ever so warm. Well, the weather forecast was getting a bit warm. I think it's it doesn't matter, it could be 27 degrees this afternoon. There's your what four or five rod lengths out now. See if you can find them bigger roach further out. Promising. Two good bites on tear there, missed.
Oh, got one on tear. First fish on tear for ages. It's not a big roach, but it's a roach. extra rod length further out. So I've got a five rod length out I think I am now. Yeah. If you can remember on the previous video, if you watched it, it's a uh, I started off on stick float in the morning, flat calm. And then it got windy, at, windy later on in the day. And I went further out, put a bigger waggler on. I went right out and kept in touch with the fish. So I've just had two roach a bit further out there. The very next cast, I'm into a quality fish. That's my first decent roach for some time. A lovely fish there, look at that, beautiful. Like brand new. So that's where they've gone, five rod lengths out. They've just backed off. Definitely practicing for some uh, air show at Sidestone Airdrome. Another one there, look. Wow, look at that. They're coming round behind us. Can't see them now, they've got in the clouds. <laughs> got a very own air show. Brilliant. Wow, look at that. Straight up above. Another one going up there, lad. Sidestone airfield on the other side, uh, on the other bank of the river, about a mile or two downstream. So that's where they're all coming out of the helicopters, typhoon. So there's two jets, there's one slightly smaller than the other. But what a noise, tremendous. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's come off. Tear. That felt like a nice fish as well. You can still hear the jets rumbling in the background. I've probably gone over Newark way now, they might turn around and come back in a minute. Just reduce the feed down a little bit. Let's see if I can encourage a few fish to take a take the bait.
with Maggie and Castor, I'm just getting uh, ragged with Bleak and Little Dace. I have a couple of perch as well. So I'm back on the tier. In these windy conditions, the downstream breeze got to sink the line. And feed enough line so it doesn't pull the float under. Just enough, and then ready for the strike. It's a little bit of practice, but it's quite easy once you get going at it. And in the background now, just come up off the horizon was a Spitfire. Hoping it comes this way. We'll get a bit more of it on footage. It'd be nice. You can hear the engine. You can just see it there, look. Probably can't quite make it out. It's that far away. It's in line with the blue boat. It's going straight up now. It's rolling over. Here it is. So the Chinooks, Spitfire. All we need is the Lancaster now and the Dakota. Typhoons. Yeah, so we have a Typhoon and there's another type of jet. Spitfire, Chinooks, there was a Sea King helicopter as well, which we didn't quite get on footage. Mr. Fastbite then. Behind the trees, you can hear there's the Merlin engine, the woo 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 the engine. Sounds a bit closer. I'll move the camera around. I think it's over the trees behind us. There he is. That's the closest it's been so far. In a barrel roll, loop the loop. Remember years ago I was fishing at Rolleston and then um, heard the noise of a plane and the Dakota came up the river and it was only, I don't know, 100 foot off the water, really, really low and just flew up the river and banked up and went over the trees. Brilliant. Winds just ease off a bit now. It's still decent and bleak coming up for the casters but I'm really trying to Hold out to see if I can pick any big roach out in the shoal. You can see a jet. This is coming there. Look. There's a jet and the Spitfire together. the uh, Typhoon and the Spitfire all in one go. Awesome. You can see him again. There's a banking round going over sides to Oh, yeah, right at 
at the bottom of the swim. Oh, here they come again. It's over my shoulder. As you can just about see them. Well, quite a big dace. Nowhere near as excited as the uh, Thai food in the Spitfire. Keep hearing the jets. Give them around again in a minute, I think. All right, so we just need the Lancaster and the Dakota, then I'll be happy. And a few more roach. Again, there's a Spitfire. I'll stand back. You can hear that roar of the Merlin. You can hear the, you can hear the typhoon because can't see it. behind us. It's doing a barrel roll. Just for good measure, I've got a decent fish on. Quality roach. We're nicknaming the Typhoon Roach. <laughs> That's a beauty, that is. God, I want it. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I could. I don't mind fishing. I think I might just sit in my box and watch the air display. It's in a full loop. Straight up again. Giving that a good workout. Wow, I could roll.
must be absolutely fantastic to fly them things. <laughs> wow, what a buzz. In the clouds, in the clouds again. Is it coming this way? I like it when they turn around and come round this way. The roar is tremendous. Out to there, look. And straight up, rolling. Dropping. Oh, come up the river. Close. I'm not sure how much uh, I got of that footage then. It sort of crept up on us behind these trees. If these clouds had disappeared, we'd have a fantastic view. It must be nearly done now. Been at it ages. Must have been running out of fuel, surely. Let's try and cast her, see if we can uh, pick anything up. It has been a strange session. We had all the big roach in the first half an hour. After that, it's just been bits and the odd, the odd roach. I've persevered with tear, so I've been getting odd bites on it, just because there seem to be so many bleak and dace. They're just attacking the casters and maggots. Shell in the caster. I bury in one. Bury in the hook. Just shows you, even with a bleak and dace, sometimes the point of hook showing, you still can't get a bite. So I just buried that hook in the caster, caught a fish straight away. I just missed the last couple of bites. Let's try and mag it. So I'm just going to try something for the last half an hour. I'm just going to feed heavy with maggie because I've got plenty and I'm not using up. Let's see if I can get, really get the fish competing. See if there's anything decent that might take them. I know I'm going to get plagued with bits. But if I feed them heavy, hopefully. I might be able to pick something up that's only eating the maggots.
two big patches. Right, we're going to have one more fish because I'm just looking upwind and there's a very dark set of clouds coming. <laughs> it's looming over. So we'll have one more fish, then we'll have a look at what we've caught. Let's try and double caster. Come on, one big roach to finish with. Not a roach, a little dace. That's it, we'll get packed away. I'll have a quick look at what we've got. The first hour was the best, and it's um, been a struggle since then, really. There's a lot of fish in that first, uh, first hour. I saw the best fish. There's probably 20 decent roach in there in a few days, a couple of perch. Probably the biggest. There's a few of them. A few, quite a few clunkers in there. Not bad for a few hours in the afternoon though. Lovely. Right, so just a reminder, we're on Midland AC water at Hoveringham. It's day ticket, five pound a day, and it's got plenty of nice roach in there. Uh, another catch barbel here as well, chub, bream. So, well worth a visit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Uh, speak again soon. Bye for now. Wow, that was the uh, typhoon and the Spitfire all in one go. Kind of roll. Must, must be absolutely fantastic to fly them things. <laughs> wow, what a buzz.